friends hope you all are fine at your places so today in this session we are going to discuss with the very first poem of your book honey dew and that is geography lesson by zulfikar ghosh so as it is clear with the title geography lesson that the poet want to discuss with us few of the geographical condition of our earth but still few of the questions also comes in his mind which he wants to put forward in front of us through this poem can you imagine what your city would look like if you just saw it from 10000 ft above the ground it would look neatly planned beautiful and in a proportion like a geometrical design but when you see it from the thick of the city only the conditions are totally opposite you will not find it as beautiful as you can see it from above the ground so first of all i am reading the very first stanza of the poem when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had dwelt the way it had seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky so poet is observing the geographical condition of uh, his city from above the ground he is in a jet almost about 10000 ft above and he is observing the city and in this first stanza he is telling that it is very much clear that why this city is that much planned why it looks so beautiful and why it has dwelt in such way he is saying further then there seemed an inevitability inevitability which can cannot be avoided you can't avoid such scenes such scenarios are there if you are able to look your city from upside so that inevitability is capturing his mind there and at the same time he is saying that when you are in the thick of the city it looks haphazard haphazard means without plan and he is saying there is much difference in the seeing only so in this first stanza the poet is clearing the thing that how he feels when he was in the thick of the city when he was living in the city and how the city looks like when he was watching his city from 10000 ft above so there is a big difference Now let's move to the second stanza. When the jet reached ten thousand feet, it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran, and why the valleys were populated. The logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached. Ten thousand feet. So, in the second stanza, the poet is just clearing the scenario. He is saying, when the jet reached ten thousand feet, I came to know that why these cities are that much planned and why these are situated near the rivers. Why these are near the rivers? Because water. and such kinds of lands they attract men for agricultures and for many of the things which are useful for human livings further he is saying the logic of geography is working behind this he is also saying that such kinds of land and water they attract men and that's why men are just settled down near the river or river banks later on he is saying it was clearly delineated delineated means it was shown from 
टेन थाउजेंड फिट अब दैट मैन हैज गिवन मच वर्क मैन हैज गिवन मच एफर्ट्स टू सेटल हिमसेल्फ इन सच प्लान स्ट्रक्चर बट सडनली द मूड ऑफ द पोएम चेंजेस इन द थर्ड स्टैंड लेस मूव टू दैट when the jet rose 6 miles high it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other to build walls across cities and to kill from that height it was not clear why so in third stanza suddenly from geographical description the poet is turning towards the abstract things he is saying when we just go up we come to know that the earth is round and most of the part of land is sea it's water but still one thing is there that is not easy to understand for the poet and what are those he is saying everything is visible i can see the full structure of earth i can see my city i can see its planning how it planned and how humans are surviving such a uh, way but he is also saying but i am not able to understand when they have everything there then why men used to hate each other what is the reason of their hatredness what is the reason of the jealousy because land had provided everything to everyone land had gave god land they hadn't done any of the discrimination between us but still human hatred is one thing which is just out of the mind of the poet he is not able to understand that further poet is saying that man has built up walls across the cities they used to kill each other with no reason and then from that height he is saying it is not clear to me i am not able to understand the reason behind their hatred so this was the poem geography lesson by zulfikar ghosh actually having a very deep meaning and uh, giving a good lesson a moral value to the humanity so this was all about geography lesson thank you